Hey everyone, we are going to be looking at some content area words. And what that means, it's they are words that are specific to an area of study like math, science, social studies. And content area words oftentimes are in bold. So that way we know they're important, they stand out. And they might appear in visuals like diagrams. So here we have an example of a diagram and there's anther, and it shows you what that is, what part of the plant that is, stamen, petal, and stem. The parts of a flower include petal, stem, stamen, and anther. That's how you might see it with the bold face. Over here we've got some math words. Some fractions have common denominators. The world has imaginary lines of latitude and longitude. Those bold words help you know that those are important. Some other words might be perpendicular and circumference if you're talking about math content area words. Magnetism and gravity are content area words that you might see in science. And sometimes there are different uses of a common word. Like an iris is a flower and a pupil is a student, but if we're talking about eyes, the iris is the colored part and the pupil is the black part. So it might be a content area word that has multiple meanings. Sometimes when you read a content area word, you might not know what it means at first because it's so specific, but just make sure you're using your context clues and root words to help you figure out what that word could mean. And with context clues, read the words around it um, look at the visuals, especially when there's diagrams and illustrations to go along with it. That might help you figure it out. So, for example, um, bioluminescent, that's a big long word. And yesterday you heard how lumen is a root word that means light. Bio means life. So if something is bioluminescent, it gives off its own light, like a lightning bug. If you're still not sure, or maybe you just want to make sure that what you're understanding is correct, look up a word in a dictionary to see what the definition in that is and see if you've got the correct understanding. Now, I want us to look on page 113 in your my book. We're not looking at page 112, it's over here. We're just looking where the heading says how eyes work. We're just gonna look at these few paragraphs. And I'm going to read through this, and then we are going to be finding some examples of some content area words. How eyes work. An eye is shaped like a round ball. Most of it is inside your head. Do you know what the outer parts of the eye, the parts that you can see, do? Eye care. Eyelids can close quickly to protect your eyes. When an eyelid blinks, it washes the surface of the eye with tears. Tears wash dust and other things off the eye. Tears leave your eye through a tiny tube called a tear duct. Look how that's bold. Letting in light. The colored part of your eye is the iris. The black spot in the middle of the iris is an opening called the pupil. The pupil lets light into the eye. In bright light, your eye needs to take in less light so the pupil becomes smaller. In low light, the pupil becomes bigger to take in more light. Look at your eyes in a mirror and then close them. Open them quickly to see your pupils get smaller in bright light. And here we have a diagram showing you the outer parts of your eye. There's the eyelid, pupil, iris, and tear duct. So now I want you to think we were talking about those content area words. Which word is a content area word? Eyelid? or protect. I want you to think about it. Eyelid, in that example, is the content area word because it's a science word that describes a part of the eye. Protect could be used for a lot of different things, like a mama bear protects her cub. Shoes protect your feet. So now, in our second section down here, letting in light, the word iris is bold, and we know that it's an important content area word. Why is the word iris a content area word? What's it talking about? 
it is telling that that is a part of the eye. So what clues are around this word iris to help you know what it means? If you read the text around it, the colored part of your eye is the iris. And then down here, if you look at the diagram, you see it pointing to the colored part of your eye. So be looking for these content area words and jot them down as you're reading in your my book.